welcome back in this video we will discuss about analog output scaling or analog unscale we already talk about the analog unscaling by using linear line equation and scalex and normal function but today we will use the hmi scaling function here we use the analog unscale function by using linear line equation also, we have used the normax and scalex function to scale the analog output. Okay. Today, we will use the ACMI scaling function. Okay. Here, I will take another variable as a ASMI scaling okay value is 10 okay now go to plc device configuration that our analog output module will take here we already written as a ASMI plc is online that's why it is not give a chance to change now we offline will change the tag name as a ASMI scaling okay we'll use qw304 channel address by using the ASMI scaling okay now here is our ASMI scheme that I'll clear this one I'll clear again the here I will use the tag that just sometimes ago I have created the tag that ASMI is killing. This is the tag we will use for analog is killing. Okay, now go to the ASMI, ASMI tag here. You can see that this tag we don't have right now this also we don't have we just added the tag data block to HMI scaling by using the this IO field when we take the tag in that IO field it already uh, it automatically create the tag here now select the tag and go to properties we can see some properties of that tag is hidden normally we didn't check we don't check normally we don't check that properties of the tag here some function you can use that is very useful okay here the setting that how fast you want to update your tag here it is normally once again for setting we will now we will use 500 millisecond that every 500 millisecond the tag will update now here you can see the range okay here we will use the linear scaling function just select that linear the trade mark it will show here we know that Siemens use the integer value that is 27648 for the 20 milliamps and for 4 milliamps it will use 0. So, start value is 0, in value is 27648. And from H we will use 0 to 0 to start value 0, in value 100. Okay, now we will download the program to virtual PLC in simulation mode and also we will we will simulate the ASMI go to that place below is zero as you can see we already use 
that one normax and slx function here value if i set the value here is 50 percent scaling is by using normax uh, slx function integer value is 13824 here is 50 percent if i give a 50 percent setting in second input here you can see here that that is also 13824 is my scaling function and similar with the normal normax and scalex function scaling here if i give a hundred percent setting here hundred percent setting here you can see is my scaling function two seven six four eight and here also if i give setting as a hundred percent then you can see here the normal still as function output also 27648 so by the hmi you can scale the analog output or analog output now here you can see the uh, integer below right to the analog output channel address but here it is in the HMI scaling tag, the scale value in that tag. So we have to write, so we have to write that value by using move function here that data block um, HMI scaling and our QW304 is our HMI scaling from the SMI tag that is here here we already write down as a qw 304 ok now here I will download again it is showing error why This my scaling. This is the integer value. It's showing an integer value. Sorry, it is a real value. But our output QW304 is a integer, but it is a real value from SP. SMI is a real, but this is an integer value. So we have a data data type. Real cannot be implicit. But you can use by using the SCL here you have to convert that uh, data SP HMI to integer then you have to copy that integer value to QW here but by HMI uh, data color 2 dot a HMI scaling ok that is ok now you can download it is showing the yellow mark as warning that data is not compatible but it will work later we will convert ok now you can say the value is right by the by force and was table we can see the value is right in that output channel value was then first table that and this is QW302 and QW304 if I go monitor that both value is 27648 if I send it to 50 here it is 313824 here you can set 50 that also here if I set is two here it will more than 27648 because here there is no limit it more than 100 so you can make a limit in SMI tag there is no option to limit the 
there is no option to limit from that IO fit. If you use the slider, then there is an option that there is an option is called maximum scaling value. But for IO field, for IO field, there is no option to give a, a limit. But in HMI tag, here we can use the limit function. That here I will use a limit function that is called the range. Okay, I will use the constant value. You can use the tag also. The normal tag. Okay, here we will use minimum. So, take it again. Let's add the simulation. Okay, now here it is showing 102 and it is a red because the limit is 100 but it, it is 102. Now I will again write 50 and it is 1384. Now I will give 102, it will not take 102. Here it will take 100. If you give 100, it will 100. Okay. Okay. Now another thing that I told you that we can convert. Here it is showing the yellow mark that is warning the data comp uh, compatibility warning. So here I will convert the uh, real to real to integer in that okay there is no yellow mark data compatibility because this is a real value now we convert the real to integer so there is no because the is my scaling that is the output is an integer now you can see again here belly still is 99 here you can see it is the 99 below 27372. 